This is one important question that is often asked in interviews and many times you also face this confusion as to when you have an analytical solution possible through ordinary least square estimation process then why use gradient descent. Now people who come from a uh, uh, you know, statistical background, uh, PO statistics, they are very familiar with OLS and which is also very well known estimation technique in uh, you know theoretical statistics econometrics but uh, those who have taken uh, the uh, the ma machine learning classes uh, through uh, you know any of this uh, you know online platform like Coursera or EDX or you have taken machine learning classes in your college uh, the estimation technique used uh, even in basic linear regression is gradient descent and uh, nobody really mentioned about the ordinary least square. So uh, there is often a confusion when you know people who are familiar with gradient descent uh, they they hear about OLS and people who are familiar with OLS they hear about uh, gradient descent. So I'll just try to uh, you know answer this question as to why use gradient descent when you have OLS uh, as a technique uh, already in place which gives you analytical solution. So here is an, a linear regression. This is the simplest form of linear regression, right? You have y, the target variable, and you have an x, which is uh, uh, the independent variable or you know the uh, predictors, okay? And we have got two coefficients. One is an intercept, the other one is a slope, right? So the idea of estimation is to find out the value of beta naught and beta one from the given set of data and the data that is available to us is the data for y and the data for x. Now if you use OLS which is uh, um, you know which gives you analytical solution or closed form solutions where you know you get an exact answer you don't get multiple answers so to say the beta values uh, you know specifically the beta 1 can be calculated like this x transpose x where x is a matrix and it's nothing but the data given to us um, all right and then x transpose x uh, inverse multiplied to x transpose y if you do that you will get to know the values of beta okay similarly you can also get to know the value of beta naught by using similar formula with slight change when this is so easy to compute why use gradient descent which looks somewhat complicated to understand. Okay, there are various various reasons for that. Uh, in in simple statistical model where the uh, the data size is less, where the number of independent variables or uh, predictors are less, OLS does a good job. Okay, sometimes also there is a nonlinear relationship between your x and y, which is also difficult to find within just uh, you know few factors it, you require a number of other factors so there are many reasons why uh, you know a simple statistical model is, is not just enough to solve a given problem and you would rather need a larger data set and data set with larger number of variables right if that is the case now you have a small data set with small number of features problem and you have a larger data set with larger number of uh, you know features problem plan. Now OLS does a good job when you have less number of features or independent variables and less number of observations as well. But when that grows uh, to a very large size, the number of features and you know the size is also quite large, it is very difficult to you know use OLS. Why so? Because you can see you need matrix inversion here and which takes quite a uh, you know, lot of computational uh, power. So your computational speed will get affected if the size of features, the number of features available to you is quite high. Let's say you have uh, you know 1 million um, independent variables. Now statistical models uh, or econometric models uh, you will never find such a large number of uh, independent variables used in a model, but in in um, in the real world, specifically for prediction problems, you use a very large number of independent variables or features, right? So for that, your speed will be in the order of uh, n cube, where n is the number of features. So for 
that order of computational power is needed to, to do the computations and analytical solution is just not uh, easy uh, in such a situation so that's where gradient descent does a better job or a faster is quite faster compared to OLS okay that's one reason the second reason is uh, the uh, generic optimizations now you have heard about what is known as the regularizations where you know you're trying to uh, minimize the effect of not so important uh, variables um, or predictors in your model just by you know bringing the uh, coefficients of such variable close to zero right that's what is known as regularization so you add extra terms not just you have uh, uh, you know in your cost function or your um, you know residual sum of square that's what you know you call in in, in OLS you not just add your uh, equations from your uh, your regression equations with beta and x and y you also have regularized terms which is separate which it actually make the model more generic okay in that case um, OLS doesn't uh, doesn't suit such uh, optimizations so generic optimization uh, is something that uh, uh, is uh, somewhat different from what the OLS practices are so gradient descent does a good job there and gradient descent is used for uh, primarily used for uh, models that uses regularization such as lasso so lasso is one such form of regularization or regularized regression model which uses gradient descent third is many times for very non-linear complex problems you do not have a close form solutions okay and uh, in that case OLS won't do a good job right so you you have to uh, you have to sort of use gradient descent in that case another uh, important reason is when you know many times this uh, precondition or one of the main condition in OLS is that the number of data points okay the number of data points has to be greater than the number of uh, variables or the number of features that is available to you okay so that limitation is also not with gradient descent right uh, so these are some of the reasons why gradient descent is also quite popular in in prediction problems uh, you know OLS does a very good job in in you know in in establishing inference about you know variables but when it comes to predictions with uh, you know high dimension uh, because most prediction problems requires high dimension gradient descent does a better job so this one often asked questions in in data science interviews and also it is also one of the confusion people have uh, who you know come from statistical background and understand and just try to understand ml and people who come from pure computer science background who have never heard about uh, ordinary least square and so on